I want to go over my experience with this thing right here. It is made by Polar Pro and is a short stash collaboration, aka Gary King. It is a circular polarizer in a black mist filter combined into one. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today I want to go over my experience specifically with this filter right here. So I got this filter for my Fujifilm X100 series camera. Well, this one, which is the six, and this one, which is the five, it is the 49 millimeter threading. If you don't know what this filter is, it is a CPL, which is a circular polarizer and a black mist filter. So it's both of those elements combined into one. So to just go over those two real quickly, a circular polarizer is what helps you kind of cut through that glare in terms of using it with like a waterscape. So like a lake or a pond or a river, trying to cut through, see right to the bottom, assuming that the water's clear enough you would use that circular polarizer to kind of um, cut through that glare on the surface and allows you to see through it. Now in terms of the sky, you can use that to get really punchy blue skies. I really enjoy taking photos of different vehicles and I'll just give a few examples here. Something crucial to have when I'm shooting vehicles is a circular polarizer and for vehicles what this does is knocks that reflections off and knocks off the glare a little bit. So if you ever see a vehicle and how normally there's like a reflection of what the environment is around it, this will help cut through that. Or if you're trying to shoot through the window and get the interior, this will allow you to do that too. Now for the black mist filter aspect of this, these come in two different strengths. It comes in half strength and quarter strength. And I went with the quarter strength for their everyday filter. For me, this is going on my everyday carry camera. So that just makes sense to do it. For applications, this would be in terms of like when you see those lights or the highlights and they're kind of soft and glowy, that's what these black mist filters kind of do. And there's a few different companies out there that make these. Um, Tiffin makes some. And then there's that really popular Cinebloom. Now let's go to this past weekend. I like taking photos of cars and there was a big car event. They do it like the first Sunday of every month. So my wife and I drove out there this past weekend and of course, I brought this filter to test it out and to show you the differences of using the filter versus not using it. A few quick notes about my camera setup for this event. I use this camera right here, which is the Fuji X106. I shot an aperture priority, so around f4 to f8, and the rest of them, again, were set to automatic. Now, something that I do is I usually shoot a little underexposed. So on the compensation dial, I did one or two clicks under. That just comes from me taking photos for my work. I can recover more from the shadows than from the highlights. I'm gonna be putting a few different images up here. They're gonna be a few examples of with and without the filter. Now I'm gonna throw these examples up here. And this is just to give you more examples of what this filter would look like. What are my thoughts on this, using this this past weekend and using this for the past few weeks? The images were almost a little bit more underexposed than I expected. Now with the filter, I noticed that with the polarizer effect, it worked very well, similar to the other CPL I have from Polar Pro. So very happy with that. The black mist aspect, you see any like really harsh lights you get some of those reflections from the sun. With this filter, it kind of, again, softens those as a black mist would do. I think overall this filter did really well. And I think that it's something that's gonna stay on my camera for a very long time. I may swap it out to try a few other filters here and there. But overall, I'm very happy with the images. I'm very happy how they came out. I'm liking the kind of stylized effects you get with this. It's very slight, but enough that you can tell that something's being used. And I think that referencing like uh, older car events that we went to when I took my Fujifilm X100 5 and I didn't have a polarizer with me, I always wish I had one with me. And just having that with me is something that's going to make taking photos more enjoyable because I know that I'm going to be able to get the image that I kind of see in my head. I think that if you're considering this filter or you're waiting for your pre-order to come in, we think they are worth it. I'm even considering getting a full set for my regular lenses. Supposedly, they're going to be dropping something soon relating to it. So I'm trying to wait to see what that is. But yeah, hopefully this helps you get closer to your decision. If you have any questions or comments about the filter, let me know below down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.